What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're jumping in with another Destiny 2 video. This one, once again, is about Festival of the Lost for 2024. And we're going to talk about cosmetic items which will be available via Eververse during the event. As always, there'll be a mix of items available for Silver and Bright Dust. Some of them will be available exclusively for one currency or the other, but of course, There'll be a bunch of items which will be sold for both currencies during the event. Typically, Bungie will put them up in the store for silver first, and then later sell them for bright dust. So, in this video, we're going to break down all of the items which will be available for both currencies. Which essentially means, if you don't want to spend silver, there'll be the opportunity to wait out during the three weeks that the event is active, to instead pick these items up for bright dust. So hopefully it will help you guys plan a little bit with regards to what you want to pick up. There are some cool new items this year. So we'll round it up in the video. Big shout out to todayindestiny.com for their Eververse item breakdown. That's linked below. And if you enjoy this roundup, be sure to get subscribed to the channel, because as I've said recently, around 60% of the viewers on this channel aren't actually subscribed. So if you do enjoy the content, it really does support me here on YouTube. But now, without further delay, let's get into it. And so outside of gameplay rewards, things like the exotic class items, Eerie Engrams, the weapons, and even the event card, of course, there are separate cosmetics tied exclusively to Eververse. The first big one right here is the armor sets for festival this year. They are going to be sold for silver and they'll be up for 1500 bright dust, but there will also be the option to purchase the armor for 6000 bright dust. And that relates to the brand new armor this year, but also Bungie are going to be listing armor from previous years. I think actually all of the previous armor sets for festival will be available. So just keep in mind that they will have both costs associated with them. And we do have that bright dust purchase option. Next up onto weapon ornaments, it doesn't appear that there are any new ones this year, at least according to the database right now. But we do have the Promethean Preload ornament for Grand Overture, as well as the Worm Perilous ornament, which is the Parasite one. And finally, Pride Glass, which is the Fighting Lion ornament. And even though these are returning from previous years, Bungie have a listing that they'll be sold for 700 silver during this event. Keep in mind though, week over week, more than likely, we're going to get one of these available, and they'll be in the Bright Dust section for 1250 Bright Dust. Next up though, let's look at ghost shells. And as you can see from the overlay right here, of the 10 exotic ghost shells available, seven of them are gonna be silver only. So that means they can't be purchased for bright dust whatsoever. Fortunately though, some of the new ones will be available for bright dust as well. And that includes the eternal shell. We don't get previews of all of these just yet as they haven't been uploaded to the database. But the eternal shell will be sold both in a silver bundle or for 600 silver, but additionally can be purchased for 2,850 bright dust. The same cost will apply to the interstellar shell and for the spinneret shell, which is returning from a previous year. So if you want any of those for bright dust, they're going to be available at some point during the event. Next up for sparrows, again, for the overview here, there are nine festival sparrows and five of them are going to be silver only. But for the other ones, in terms of pricing, they'll come up for 800 silver, but additionally will be sold for 2,500 bright dust. And that includes the grotesque lapis, as well as the Stygian steed and majestic Winnie exotic sparrows. And then we get onto exotic ships, of which there are eight for Festival of the Lost, and four of them will be silver only. So for new ones, there's the decolated dread that will appear in a bundle. It will also be sold for 800 silver or 2000 bright dust. And the same cost will apply to the wretched bow exotic ship, the nevermore exotic ship, and finally the Mance Macabre, which is returning from previous years. And then we have the emotes. And again, the vast majority are going to be silver only, but for ones which will sell for both of the currencies. Firstly, there is Trick or Trio. That's an exotic multiplayer emote. It'll sell for 1200 silver or 4,250 bright dust. We also have the Gourd Summoner exotic emote for 1,000 silver or 3,250 bright dust. Strange Brew multiplayer emote, which would be 1200 silver or 4200 bright dust. And the Ghastly Jorance exotic emote will be sold for 3250 bright dust as well. Then for legendaries, we have the Have a Balloon legendary emote, which would be 500 silver or 700 bright dust. And the same costs will apply to the Knock Knock legendary emote and the No Escape emote. And then we get onto rare ones and this Jump Scare. This will sell for 200 silver or 400 bright dust. And for the same cost, we'll be able to get the peekaboo rare emote as well. And as we move on to the final few items here, we've got additional cosmetics like ghost projections, and there'll be the whimsical projection, which we'll be able to get for 200 silver or 1500 bright dust. Some of these costings are kind of random when you consider an exotic weapon ornament is less expensive than a ghost projection. Doesn't really make sense, but whatever. 
There's also the Elixir projection, which will be 200 silver or 1500 bright dust. And the Luminous Cocoon legendary transmat effect, which will be 200 silver or 450 bright dust. The only other cosmetic component to mention would be the masks for this year, and these class as armor ornaments. As Bungie previewed in the Twid, there's one for Cade, there's a Disciple Mask, one for the Witness, and even Archie the Robot Dog. But none of these will be sold for Bright Dust according to the database, and instead will be sold for 300 silver. And there we have it, that's pretty much a breakdown of everything related to Festival of the Lost that will sell for Bright Dust. I'm sure there'll be a couple of other silver exclusive items, and other cosmetics will include things that come from the event card, which is sort of totally separate to Eververse in a way. So that's the store cosmetics part of it, but if you want a preview of other things, such as all of the weapons and updated roles for this year, I've got a separate video on that which I'll link below. Plus I'll be sure to keep you posted next week on any important info about farming candy for instance for the exotic class items and all of that kind of stuff. So once again, get subscribed to the channel if you do like this kind of content and I will keep you up to date. For today though, that's what we have to speak about, so let us know down below any items that you're looking forward to picking up during Festival of the Lost. Again, if you have enjoyed the video, a rating down below really does help us on the channel as well. But otherwise, I appreciate you tuning in, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.